Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Raylo from Raylo Vapes. Yes, I know. I took another long break. I've been very, very busy. But anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and talk about what I'm here to talk about with you today. The Zephyrus V2 from UD Technologies. Yes, the Zephyrus V2. It's just getting ready to be released, so I figured better time than never to go ahead and make the video on this. Show you guys what it made. Bleh show you guys what it's made out of, how it works, and all that good stuff. So before I ramble and say any other random crap like I'm doing right now, let's go ahead and dive down up close, show you what the Zephyrus V2 is made out of, and all that good happy stuff. All right, you guys, so hold tight, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, here we are in up close mode with the brand new UD Zephyrus version two. So here's the box that it comes in. As you can see here, typical UD boxing it says Zephyrus V2 on this side. On the back, you have filling instructions, how everything works and your little authentication code right here. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box here and show you everything that it comes with. So first off, Here's the Zephyrus V2, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the extras here. So they do give you one coil head. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this puppy. Okay, so here's the coil head that it comes with. It comes with a 0.3 Canthal build. It's a dual coil with cotton. They rate it for 20 to 50 watts, and that seems about right with these heads. You can go a little bit higher. You have your juice flow on the sides here. This is well used be forewarned so yes there's the ugliness of a used ud coil and down here at the bottom you have your little rubber insulator and your airflow if you've used the zephyrus v1 you're very familiar with these so let's go ahead and move on to the next part in the goodie bag you get your single coil adapter and it looks like they've changed it from what i'm used to so now you have a ceramic instead of stainless steel, which should protect from shorting if it ever touches your post. And of course the silicone to block off your juice flow and your airflow right here. You have your spare glass, and then you have your red and blue grommets that hold on your glass and a couple more O-rings and it looks like they gave a screw in there as well. The Zephyrus V2 by UD. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at this from the top down. So we have your UD drip tip, which is rifled like all other UD drip tips have been. Now we have the brand new top fill. This I am very, very happy with. So all you have to do, you can see, gave you little grippies right here. Just, and my hands are still greasy. <laughs> so you just open that up and you have two three millimeter juice flow. Very, very easy to use like with your plastic drippers. It'll fit in there perfectly and you'll fill this thing right up. The other side's for your air. Then you have down here, yes, you see it, black grommets. We've been asking for these for a while. Instead of the clear ones now, you have blue, red, and black. So now it'll look nice with any of your black box mods that you might have. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the airflow. So airflow now, you have four seven by two millimeter airflow holes down here on the bottom. And you also have a one millimeter airflow hole for you mount to lung hitters. Yes, I've had a lot of complaints of people saying they wanted something single coil and mount to lung. So now you have the single coil adapter and you have mount to lung hole right here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. You have a non-adjustable 510 pin. This looks to be gold plated or brass. I'm not exactly sure here. And of course, UD designed and manufactured by UD Tech. And this is not adjustable but it does stick out quite a bit where I would almost feel safe using this on the hybrid, but just for safe reasons, I normally try not to use anything that's non-adjustable on a hybrid. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. So I wanna unscrew the base here. So here's the inside of the deck, fairly simple. You can see your holes down there at the bottom and you see your 510 pin right there as well. Here is the coil head. Yes, they changed the coil head up on this dramatically i wasn't too much a fan of the first version the way that they did the airflow but this one much much better so you can see there's your juice slots to get your juice up in there and then you have ud rba now you can see the change it's no longer those two holes so now what you're looking at is 
two five by two millimeter airflow hole cyclops style on the deck all right so here's your deck if you're used to zephyrus if you're used to ud you're used to this design so you have your four post deck and they're staggered you have two millimeter post holes and your negatives are milled directly onto the deck and you have a peak insulator down there at the bottom for your positive so now take a look at that as i block it with my finger <laughs> So with the Cyclops holes, you now have a little bit of space on either side to actually do pancake style wicking, which is sort of what I'm gonna do in the build tutorial at the end or really wicking tutorial at the end of this. Now you can see here you have your step down juice channels, like pretty much all other UD devices that have come out this year. Very, very easy to wick. So either you can put it right there at that first step or you can pancake it and not have to worry about it at all. But actually, I'm going to show you a really easy way of doing this. Let's take off our glass here. It's just held on by that black little grommet. Now you have your chimney here. Your chimney is five millimeters. It's a five millimeter chimney all the way through. And you can see down in there, it is also rifled just like the drip tip all the way through. And then, of course, you have it so it's beveled a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That's up close and personal with the new Zephyrus version two. So now let's go ahead and go back into FaceTime. We'll talk about it, vape on it, give you my opinions, pros and cons, price and where you can get it. All right, so stay tight. Okay, so we're back. You got to see it up close. You got to see all the inner workings of the Zephyrus V2. Now let's go ahead and uh, give it a quick vape. Why not? As you can clearly see, this is another cloud blowing tank, has plenty, plenty, plenty of airflow and intense flavor. So let's go ahead and talk about what it's made out of. So first and foremost, it is made from 304 food grade stainless steel through and through Pyrex glass for the tank and the extra tank. You have the peak insulator for your positive post. What is this? Positive, positive post whatever uh you you have the nice new rubber grommet for your oh, oh i'm like leaking out juice there for your juice filling thingamajig that's one thing is it going to be a con anyways let's go ahead and talk about some of these specs here so i believe i had said this up close but you have two five by two millimeter airflow cyclops holes on the post on the build deck on the post, on the build deck, that's your airflow. Um, it is a 14 millimeter deck. Yes, I know some of you are complaining you want these big giant decks, but this is a good mix of airflow and flavor. So you gotta keep the deck a little bit smaller. Negatives are milled into the deck, as you clearly saw earlier. It has a five millimeter rifled chimney. It, ha it is 49 and a half millimeters tall from here to here, sand drip tip and 510. It is 22 millimeters in diameter. It has three millimeter fill holes on the top. And of course, four seven by two millimeter airflow holes around the base here. And the little single is this little tiny hole right here is one millimeter in diameter. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right in and talk about pros and cons. What I like, what I dislike about Zephyrus V2. So let's see. Uh, one con that I do have on this, and it's very, very minor, is the little o double O-ring thing that they put on their drip tip. It slides up very easy. So when I try and put my drip tip in, it just mashes up and you get that gap. That gap. You see that gap? It's not supposed to be there. And when it was a little bit newer... I didn't have that much of a problem, but as that drip tip wears, you get that little gap thing, but whatever, you can deal with that. Uh, let's talk about cons. What other cons do I have on this? Because it is a very, very solid RTA. Um, I guess one con for you guys that like the big deck, it's a 14 millimeter deck. It's the same size deck pretty much as most of the UD tanks that have come out this year, but I always build 2.5 inner diameter 26 millimeter coils and those fit in here perfectly. 
So for you guys that like those big, crazy Claptons and Fuse Claptons and all that good stuff, eh, you're probably going to have a difficult time fitting that into this deck here. Uh, con would be huh, huh, huh. the coil heads. All right, these coil heads right here. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the horizontal coil heads that UD has. They seem to burn out really quick. Uh, I, I had this one only for about two or three days before it failed on me and started getting nasty. And you can see, let me zoom in here. That's only after two days, pretty much, of vaping on this thing. And it's all cruddy. And it started tasting nasty. It wasn't burnt or anything like that. It just started tasting cruddy to me. There are vertical coils, from what I've heard down the chain, that should be coming out here soon for UD to hopefully improve upon those coil heads. So that con's actually being worked out at this moment. Um, other than that, I really don't have any other cons on this particular tank. Let's go ahead and jump right into the pros. So pros, plenty of airflow, at least for me. This is plenty of airflow. Some of you guys might want some of these like crazy, massive, gigantic airflow tanks. But to me, you lose a lot of flavor on those and I'm just not down with that. I like a good balance between airflow and flavor and this one nails it to me. And another pro for me, of course, as always, is the top fill. Top fill on this has been wonderful. I've had zero leaking issues, zero flooding issues, even with the airflow completely wide open when filling it. But one word of advice, use these little needle tip bottles. These little needle tip bottles work perfectly for this. Same thing like with your unicorn bottles and stuff like that. As long as you have that little needle tip in there, you shouldn't have any problems. Now, I have used the little glass one, it just takes a little bit longer and you're kind of risking it to flood by opening up the vacuum for that long. Take a bait. Another pro for me is flavor. Flavor on this tank is fantastic. As with the Zephyrus V1, the Zephyrus V2's airflow and flavor are both on point. It's exactly 22 millimeters, so that is another pro for me, even though it doesn't necessarily matter so much anymore because eh, stuff kind of bounces around in, in size now. Uh, another pro is having that one millimeter hole right here on the base for you mount-to-lung hitters. If you guys want to mount-to-lung and you don't want to take those big lung hits and you want to build really high, this tank can do that for you. But there is also a con. So let me go ahead and close this off and I'll even close off this hole here. Can you hear that? I'm still getting air even when this thing's completely sealed tight. So it's gonna be a fairly loose mouth to lung hit even with that air hole that's on there. And they also are working on coil heads, the pre-built coil heads, I believe that are gonna be a 1.8 ohm and have a smaller airflow on the actual coil head itself. So that will help you guys out if you're chasing that. Another pro is the little single coil adapter. I love these things. So if you don't wanna like run through juice because these, these style of RTAs and RBAs, they suck up juice. So if you throw this little single coil adapter in there, build yourself a single coil, you're basically saving yourself, you know, half the tank. You're not gonna vape through it as fast. So that's another pro. Uh, that's pretty much it for pros and cons. It's fairly straightforward. If you've used the Zephyrus V1, you should be fairly familiar with this. It's just been improved ever so slightly with a better top fill and a better RBA deck in my personal opinion. So now when it comes to price, I'm not sure. This hasn't been fully released yet. There is no vendor that has it, though I'm sure there's plenty of them out there right now that are probably doing pre-orders. My guess is this is gonna be somewhere in that like 20, uh, I don't wanna say 24 like the Bellis was. That was pretty insane. I'm gonna guess somewhere in like the 30 to 40 range. That's my guess for the Zephyrus with everything you get with it. It's a little bit more involved than the Bellis is. So, that's my guess on price. Don't hold me to it because I'm not sure. 
but I'm sure it'll be online shortly. Uh, once I find out some sites that have it, I'll go ahead and post it in the description below. So that way you can take a look and find it there. I'm going to go and take one more vape off of this. So yeah, oh, let me get that out of the way. So there you go, you guys. That is my review on the Zephyrus V2 from UD. It's a winner. I would definitely give this two thumbs up, if that even matters. What's this two thumbs up? Whatever. I, I do like it, though. It's very enjoyable. Flavor, vapor, easy to build, easy to wick, as you'll see when you stick around for the rebuild tutorial of this. It's really just more of a re-wicking, showing you a very easy way of wicking this sucker. But, yeah, I've been vaping this. Let's see. This is at uh, about a 0.6 and about 55 watts. And it's just been spectacular. I've taken it up higher than that, but I don't know. For me, this is right where I like to be. If you like it a little bit hotter, I'm sure you could do it. I prefer the RBA deck over the coil heads. Personal opinion, I'm not really big on pre-built coils. So, yeah, that's it. There's not much more to talk about here. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I haven't been making videos as regularly as I had promised you. It's been very, very, very hectic over here. So, Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys picked the Zephyrus V2 up and enjoyed as much as I have. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you're gonna stick around for the rebuild tutorial, right on, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> but if this is where we part ways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, vape on. Go ahead and take you out the cloud. All right, you guys, so thanks for sticking around for the build portion of this. I'm not necessarily going to build it just to try and save some time here. I pre-built my coils. I have a 10 wrap kidney puncher canthal 26 gauge. This is a 2.5 millimeter inner diameter. And I'm just going to show you guys how to really, this is more for the wicking than it is anything else. Let's go ahead and put our coils in here. Okay. So now that I have my coil in, I'm just going to sort of center it right there just like so and of course try and get it as close to the deck as possible so for right now you're gonna see I am actually gonna hold it to where it's touching if I can keep it in focus and on the camera there we go and just go ahead and tighten down those screws real real quick all right so you can see nice and centered and very very close to the deck you want it basically covering up that airflow hole all right so i'm going to go ahead and put the other one on off camera you don't need to see that again it's too difficult to try and do this on camera anyway all right as you can see coils are both complete now you can see that they're both fairly close to the build deck and they're right above those airflow holes okay let me go ahead and put this on my mod I'm gonna dry fire these real quick, make sure that they're firing evenly, and then I'll show you how to wick. Okay, so I got these things firing nice and even, kind of even. That one just wants to, there we go, now it's even. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to wick. Okay, so here's my cotton. I pre-cut it into 10 millimeter sheets, and this is Kogendo Japanese organic cotton, and I just cut a little bevel, or not bevel, just cut a little angle into it to make it easier. Let's go ahead and twist this end. And it's gonna be a little tight, so go ahead and give it a twist while you're feeding it through. There we go. I like a thicker wick inside. It helps to keep it so it doesn't burn out on you. So let me go ahead and do the other one real quick. Now, what I'm gonna do is cut it right to the size of the deck here. And then I do a little bit of an angle cut Okay, so now it's got its little haircut here. 
Now I just fold these up. And if I see any little bit of excess on there, like you can kind of see this one's a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and just trim it flat. I was kind of messing that up. So actually I like to take it out of the actual deck and trim it like so. This makes it a lot easier. I knew it was a little bit too thick. There we go. So basically what you're looking for here is you just want it so it's just sitting in there a little bit, only about halfway in there. But very easy way of doing this now. Just kind of fluff them up. Take your chimney cap. This can be a little bit troublesome here, but just try and keep them in that upward position. There we go. Screw your cap back on. And you're going to see all this cotton all fluffed up here at the top now, right? Now, all you need to do is just tuck it back in there. So just like that. And of course, make sure you primer your juice or your coils before anything else. Let's go ahead and do that real quick here. And dump a whole bunch of juice in there just to get those coils nice and wet. That should be plenty. All right, so there you go, you guys. And this is the same build that I was using throughout the whole entire video. So you already got to see how it performs. So there you go, you guys. Thanks for sticking around, watching the rebuild slash rewicking for the Zephyrus V2 RBA head. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, sorry it took me so long to come back, but there you go, you guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, vape on. Once again. I see some hate.